All right, so you need to go to geogebra.org, and once you get here, you'll see something similar to this. Uh, you'll be asked to sign in. You do not have to sign in. You can with parents' permission. Um, maybe later I'll do a, a class for us. But for now, uh, go to the waffle and select geometry. And once in geometry, there are lots of different things you can do. Um, I would first, so this is the tools, this is the calculator. First, uh, click more to expand. So you have a lot more tools to work with. Uh, you can see you can uh, have basic tools, edit, construct, measure, lines, circles, polygons, transform, and media. For now, we're going to create a line segment, which is the same thing as what we normal call a line, normally call a line. You click one place, click another, and you will have a line. Now we're working with parallel lines, so we want a parallel line. So here it is. If you go to parallel line, click on that. It gives you little instructions down there. I can't see it because I've got a thing in front of it, but I know that um, I need to select the line and then uh, click where you want it. So that actually made an actual line, not a line segment, but that's okay. Uh, you can move things around like that. And now we're going to make a, a line or line segment that intersects the two. So click line and anywhere you want. Uh, you can put the, uh, the line segment. Now we have the parallel lines, the intersecting line that we have uh, been dealing with. The, sorry. Um, it's kind of funny. Sorry about that. Um, okay, and now we can start measuring angles. Now you should probably put a point at the intersection of the lines. It won't be perfect. Uh, put one there and one there. Then we can identify the angles better. So right now we've got a whole bunch of different angles. We've got A, F, G. Remember we always use the middle letter as the vertex. We've got C, G, F. We've got E, F, B. We've got E, G, C, lots of different things. Maybe I'll put a point on um, this line here. Um, all right. So now that we've done this, we can measure some angles and we should know what they're going to be. It might be a little bit off because I didn't make those precisely, but uh, let's see what happens when I go down to measure and angle. So you can either click two lines or click the three points. I'm going to click the three points. Let's do, let's start with E, F, B. And it says 38.6 degrees. I'm going to go up to move over here. And I'm actually going to physically going to move that a little bit further. And watch what happens if you click it again. You can change its color, which is kind of fun. And you can do lots of different things. This fuchsia. I don't even know what they call this. There you go. Good enough. Um, close that out and I've got my angle there. Now I'm going to measure an angle that I know will be the same. Well, according to our learning, this one will be the same here. E, sorry, F, G, H. So I'm going to go down to measure and go to F, G, H. It might not be exactly, but it should be pretty close. And there it is exactly. Just like I said, um, so you can move it over and there you have it there's your proof that these angles are the same uh you get it measure a f g as well but we should probably do the other one we know 180 minus 38.6 will be about 132.4 let's see if i'm my mental math is good go to measure again angle here here, here, mm, close. Um, mental math wasn't always my strength. Anyway, we're going to grab that, move it over so you can see it, 141.4. And now we have the two different angles. 
Now A, F, and E should be the same. So I'll go to measure. Might be slightly different just because of where I placed that F, A, F, and E, but it's exact again. Um, 141.4. This is basically what I want you to do. That's it. Now, there are a lot of cool things you can do with um, GeoGebra, which I'll show you more. Um, you can make a, a perpendicular line, so 90 degrees. Uh, you can make an angle bisector, so you can um, cut an angle in half. I'll just show you that quickly, angle bisector. Oh, I can't see the instructions, but I think you just do this. We'll do this and this. There we go. Don't love that. It's bisecting all the angles, but um, can undo that. Uh, one thing you can do is to make an angle with a given size, which is kind of cool. Um, so I think you click a line and a point. Again, I can't see that. And then however many degrees you want. 67.893. And we get that angle. And now I can make a line there if I want. So this is what I would like you to do. I would like you to make your own parallel lines, your own uh, intersecting line, and then measure the angles to see that they are the same. Not too bad.